Hi everyone, my name is Becca and I'm from Cohort 17 at the Guild Hall at SMU. I'm going to be telling you how to assign KDOP collisions to static meshes and Dallas is here to demonstrate for us. So let's add a static mesh to our scene. We have a simple box with a light in it. Let's bring up the, uh, the content browser by clicking the button. And we're going to find a static mesh. I'm going to settle on this rock and drag it into the scene. That's pretty big, so we'll resize it for you. And to bring up the static mesh editor, you're going to double click your static mesh. Alright, so there's our object. To see if there are any collisions already on the object, you'll click the Show Collision button, which is the little green puzzle piece with the purple circle around it. Now this object already does have collision on it. That's what the green wireframe is that you see around it. If there was no collision, you wouldn't see this wireframe. Now to alter the collision box, we'll, we'll go to Collision at the top, and you'll see all these numbers with DOP next to it. That's KDOP. KDOP stands for K Discrete Oriented Polytope Collision. And K is just the number of axis aligned planes that form the box around the object. So whichever number you choose is how many planes that are going to go around your object. You see that 10 has a, a number of different axes. That just alters the box. So let's go to 10 dot X. You can see that the mesh alters its axis. You want to go to another 10 dot Y and see that it moves again. So really you're just going to pick the one that you think fits your mesh the best. So we'll go with 18. Keep in mind though, the higher the number you choose, the slower your program is going to run. So now we're going to X out of the mesh editor, X out of the content browser, and let's test out our uh, collision on the rock. We'll right click the scene. Actually, let's rebuild the lighting first. Wait a moment, it might take a little bit. from here. Now you can see that we can't go through the object, and that's because of that collision box around it. We can't shoot it, uh, bullets don't go through it either. Again, this is the collision box working. So now you can see a very quick and easy way to assign K dot collisions to a static mesh. Thanks for watching.